When we complete our fluid dynamic hoist training, students will have mastered precision hoisting under a very disruptive rotor flow that occurs beneath the helicopter for us. We start at some pretty gentle terrain, so we just get rider position, exactly how we're connecting and all of those things. But by the time we transition further into each day, we get into more and more complicated terrain. We'll be inserting into uh, tree canopies. We'll be inserting onto some steeper and steeper slopes, ultimately maybe even some vertical surface work. So it's a progression that gets more and more complicated with each day. A great part of this training is we are making people safer. We are helping them be safer, be more precise, be more efficient with their hoisting. Uh, and you can see that in videos, you can see that in rescue reports that what people are doing after our training is safer, it's faster, it's more precise.